Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, we're so close to a thousand subscribers, so go right down there, hit subscribe, and now let's get on to this video. Alright, so since my most popular videos include stereo settings uh, for car audio, I decided to do more specific videos that can help you change specific settings. So for this video, we're going to teach you or just kind of suggest some settings that ends up giving you the best sounding bass. So we're going to go ahead right into the settings. So hit audio control, and then this is where you can change some of your settings. Now, if you have a subwoofer, then you can get settings like subwoofer level in which you can change the different levels that your subwoofer uh, puts out. We're not gonna focus on that because we're gonna focus on the settings that just come through your regular speakers. So for those, we have bass level, and then you can change your mids, your treble, and then there's also bass boost on most head units, as well as the balance and fader settings, which are all very helpful with giving you the best sounding bass. First, we're gonna go into bass level, and this is basically where you can adjust what level your bass is at. So obviously, the lower the number you have it, the smaller amount of bass it will put out. So usually people have it at zero, but if you want a little bit more bass, Obviously, you can go up into the positive. But remember that if you only change your bass level settings, then you could get some rattling and distortion in your speakers. So let's say you have this at plus two, then you can go to your mids and you can lower your mids a little bit. And this will give you kind of a deeper sound in your speakers, which will help with the bass sound. So let's say we have our mids at minus two. We can go over to treble. Treble kind of controls your your snare sounds, your real high pitch sounds that are in songs. So if you want a deeper, more bass filled sound, you wanna lower your treble. So maybe minus two or three, but if you wanna hear those snares, you're gonna to wanna to put it in the positive. Now, most aftermarket head units have a bass boost setting, which is what this is right here. And this is pretty self-explanatory. So if you click on this, you can see minus set to off, but if you turn it to level one, level two, or level three, it increases the bass that your speakers put out. Obviously, if you want more bass, you're gonna to want to put this at level one or two or three, but if you don't really want that, you can leave it off and you can control your bass with the different settings. So now the last setting I'm gonna talk about is the fader setting. So as you can see, if you click into the fader setting, you can choose how much sound comes out of each speaker front to back. So you can have the speakers favor the front, which means that more sound comes out of the front speakers, or you can change it to where more sound comes out of the back speakers. And if you want a fuller, better sounding bass, you're gonna to wanna to put this more to the back. So maybe two or three clicks to the back will make a little bit of a difference, but it will get that fuller bass sound in your music. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys found this helpful, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you go out to your car and try these settings out, see if they make your bass sound a little bit better, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.